Today on Studio G, we'll have the latest on the body that was found up in Carson City over the weekend. We'll also look inside the world of online dating and the good and bad that can come from it. And Brenda Gomez will tell us about the sudden speed bump to spring and how long this cool windy weather will stick around. Studio G starts right now. Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Studio G. I'm Allison Whitley. And I'm Heather Fairberger. We start off with some sad news. Former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher has died. Known as the Iron Lady for her political and personal toughness, she was Britain's only female Prime Minister that held the position from 1979 to 1990. According to her spokeswoman, she suffered a stroke Monday. She was 87 years old. Today in Carson City, where sheriffs, search, and rescue personnel found a wrapped body in the Carson River Saturday morning. Officials believe that the body is the remains of William McCoon, an insurance examiner that has been missing since Thursday. Search and rescue crews began scouring the Carson River around 2 Saturday morning. Uh, they had Sheriff confirms an autopsy has been done, but officials continue to search the crime scene at McCoon's home. Until that information is released, the motivation behind the crime remains the big question. A man is dead after being hit by a car last night on Tropicana Avenue just west of Paradise Road. Witnesses and statements from the scene say a woman was driving a Ford Escape in the far right lane of Tropicana just after 9 p.m. The pedestrian was entering the street when the front of the Ford struck the pedestrian. The man was outside of the crosswalk and was pronounced dead at the scene. This is still under investigation, and this is Metro's 37th traffic-related fatality this year. Sunday afternoon, a 55-year-old woman had to be rescued after she fell about 30 feet over in the southwest part of town. Metro police say the woman was in a remote area near Exploration Park when she fell onto a steep ledge 30 feet down. She, the woman was taken to UMC trauma with non-life-threatening injuries. One of the largest conventions is coming to Las Vegas this week that will benefit broadcasters, bloggers, and anybody with a piece of, with uses a piece of media. The National Association of Broadcasters Convention starts some of the biggest companies in the world. From Sony to Avid, the e is at the Peace of Las Vegas Convention Center. It ends April 11th. For more information on who's going to be there or to purchase passes, go to nabshow.com. After the break, we'll have some national news from Austin Any. And we'll look back at last night's ACM Awards and tell you which singer had a big night. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio G. It's time to check in the newsroom with our national news correspondent, Austin Enney, with the latest from around the nation. Austin? Thanks, Heather. Time now for a look at headlines taking the spotlight around the nation. Well, that does it for your national headlines for this Monday, April 8th. Now let's send it back to the desk with Allison and Heather. Ladies? Reporter Alexis Mers explores the ups and downs of online dating. If it wasn't for MySpace, we probably would have never met. With social media outlets on the rise, the internet has become the starting point for some friendships, relationships, and even marriages. Online dating may not be for everyone, but meeting people online doesn't always turn out to be a nightmare. You've got to make sure that you're meeting in a public space. You want to time limit that interaction um, so that if, if after an hour you're not comfortable, you can say, okay, well, I have this other appointment, as I mentioned, so I can't stay you know, around. If you really do want to continue to, to, to interact with that person, you can always make a second date. You never know where you may meet the love of your life. Anything is possible when it comes to love. Reporting for Studio G, I am Alexis Mers. Allison, have you ever tried online dating? I did try Match.com once, and it didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted to, but I met some nice people and some weird people, but, you know, good and bad. It's just not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Small bars and taverns could be at risk of losing another piece of revenue. According to the Associated Press, the Nevada Resort Association wants to ban small bars and taverns with restricting game licenses from operating sports betting kiosks. But people opposed to the bill said the kiosks are not sports books since they do not pay out winnings. People set up accounts and can then place bets. No action has been taken on this bill. And the ACM Female Vocalist of the Year is... Miranda Lambert. Over you, Miranda Lambert! Over you, Miranda Lambert! The composer. 
It was a big night at the MGM Grand for singer Miranda Lambert. The singer netted four awards on the night, including Record of the Year, Single Record of the Year, and Song of the Year. She also won her fourth straight Female Vocalist of the Year. Lambert won the most awards of the evening. Also on the night, Luke Bryan snagged Entertainer of the Year, beating out two-time winner Taylor Swift and last year's favorite, Blake Shelton. When we come back, Brenda Gomez will tell us how long this cool, windy weather will stay. Plus, sports with Alex Bull. Stay with us. Hey everyone, welcome back from the break. I'm Brenda Gomez, covering for Jamie Seymour. Well, as you can tell, our weather has drastically changed. We went from the mid-80s to the low uh, 50s. And over to sports. Hi. Thanks, Brenda. Well, choo-choo! All aboard the March Madness Express. Final stop, Atlanta. After 21 days, that is all the sports I have for you today. Thanks, Alex. When we return, we'll have the winner of the CSUN presidential election joining us in studio. Hey, guys, welcome back from the break. Joined in studio today by newly reelected CSUN and student body president Mark Seville. Mark, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Austin. Thanks for having me on. Well, of course, and congratulations on being reelected. Thank you. That's the basis last year, and now I'm working on a veterans and active duty military scholarship. All scholarships are open right now until April 24th. Students can go to unlvcsun.com slash scholarships mm -hmm. and fill out one application which will enter them for all of the scholarships they're eligible for. Perfect. Well, Mark, thank you so much awesome. for joining us thank and congrats you so to you as well. Appreciate we it. We know that you will lead UNLV forward. All right, time for a quick break, but when we come back, it's more with Allison and Heather. Stay tuned. Welcome back. In case you didn't know, Saturday was International Pillow Fight Day. A group called Banditos Miserotos organized this Boston pillow fight in local park. More than 140 cities were expected to take part, and Banditos Miserotos says more than 1,200 people in Boston participated in last year's pillow fight, making it the second largest gathering of the day. Fighters were encouraged to bring their pillows, non-feather filled, to parks in their city and let loose. And that'll do it for today's show. I'm Heather Fairberger. And I'm Allison Whitley. Be sure to catch us here every weekday at noon. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, everybody.